So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about solving problems involving quadratic equations. Let us apply what you have learned in the different ways in solving quadratic equations in problem number one. The length of a rectangular tarpaulin is 3 feet, more than thrice its width, and the area is 126 square feet. Find the value of the length and width. So if we consider this one as the length, and then the length, based on the problem, 3 feet more than thrice its width. So it means 3W, so more than, so plus 3. And then this one, that could be the width. So if this is the length, so this is the width. And then the area, the area, yung kabuuan nitong tarpaulin, that is 126 square feet. Let us identify now the length and then the width. The area of the rectangle that is equal to length times width. So area that is equal to the value that is 126 and then the length 3W plus 3 and then the width copy. So let us multiply 3W plus W times that is equal to 3w squared 3 times w so we, we multiply plus 3w so if we may write it in a standard form so that becomes going to the right side so 0 it is equal to 3w squared plus 3w minus 126 or kung pagpapalitin natin yung dalawa no need to change the sign so 3w squared plus 3w minus 126 equals 0 so same din siya if you want to write it in 0 equals 3w squared plus 3w minus 126. So if we divide both sides by 3 to get the lowest term para mas madali nating i-factor. So 3 divided by 3, that is w squared. 3 divided by 3, that is plus w. 126 divided by 3, that is negative 42 equals 0. Afterwards, this is factorable, so we may use the solutions for factoring. Think of factor that the sum that is equal to 1 to get the sum that could be the value of B to get the product A times C. So 1 times negative 42 that is negative 42. So think of factor that the sum is 1 and then the product is negative 42. So but before that the factor of W squared that is W and then W. So this one negative so it means isang positive isang negative. So let us see, think a factor that the product is negative 42 and then the sum is 1. So the factor 7 times negative 6, let us try. 7 times negative 6, that is negative 42. If we subtract 7 minus 6, the answer is equal to 1. So the factor is W plus 7 and then times W minus 6. So the first value that is equal to W equals negative 7. Second one, W minus 6 equals 0, so W equals 6. So W equals negative 7, so wala namang weight na negative, so it means this is incorrect. So it means, kukunin natin yung positive, so W equals 6. If the width is equal to 6 feet, let us continue, let us identify the length. So the length, the formula, 3W plus 3, so it means 3 times 6 plus 3. 3 times 6, that is equal to 18 plus 3. So, the length is equal to 21 feet. So, it means the value of the width is 6 feet and then the value of the length is 21 feet. How about example number 2? The area of a roof is 120 square meters and then the length is 1 less than twice the width. Find the length and the width of the roof. So based on this figure, let us identify. So this one, that could be the length. How to get 2W minus 1? Based on the problem, 1 less than twice the width. So this twice, that is 2W. And then less than, so minus 1. And then this one, that could be the width. So if this consider the width and then the length. So let us identify now the length and the width of the roof. So the area, 
that is yung kabuuan nito ng room na to, that is 120 square meter. So, let us continue to solve the area of the room that is length times width. So, the area that is 120, the length that is 2W minus 1, and then the width W. So, let us multiply. 2W times W, that is 2W squared. Negative 1 times W, that is negative W. And then, let us rewrite in a standard form. So, that becomes 2W squared minus W, and then positive 120 going to the right side, that is negative 120. So, 0 equals 2W squared minus W minus 120. Or, pwede rin natin isulat yan, balik tayo natin, 2W squared minus W minus 120 equals 0. So, same lang yun, kahit mauna yung 0, or mahuli yung 0. And then, the sign are the same. So, 2W squared minus W minus 120 equals 0. So, right now, we need to get the sum and product of the roots to identify the factor. So, the sum, that is the value of B, that is negative 1, and then the product, 2 times negative 120, that is negative 240. So, think of factor that the product is negative 240 and then the sum is negative 1. So, before that, so the factor 2W times 2W. So, that's the first. How to get 2W? So, it means the value of A is 2, so 2W. So, the value of A is 2, so 2W. Think of factor now that the sum is negative 1 and then the product is negative 240. So, that is 15 times negative 16. If we check 15 times negative 16, that is negative 240. If we subtract 15 minus 16, that is negative 1. So, let us continue. So, we'll get the lowest term, copy. 2W minus 16, that is W minus 8 equals 0. So right now, we can now solve the value of the W. So 2W plus 15 equals 0. So it means 2W equals positive 15, that is negative 15. If we divide by 2, that becomes 2 divided by 2 is 1. Negative 15 divided by 2, so that is negative 15 over 2. How about second one? W minus 8 is equal to 0, so W equals 8. But then, W, the width should not be negative. So it means W equals negative 15, that is incorrect. So we may choose W equals 8. So it means the width, that is equal to 8 meters. How about the length? So the length, that is 2W minus 1. So 2 times 16, or 2 times 8, minus 1, that is 16 minus 1, and then the length, that is equal to 15. So, we have now the width and then the length. So, the width, that is 8 meters, and then the length, that is 15 meters. How about example number 3? Juan Carlos owns a rectangular lot. The perimeter of the lot is 90 meters, and its area is 450 square meters. Find the value of the width and then the length. So, it means... The perimeter is 90 meters. So, ito yung perimeter. Yung gilid-gilid na yan. So, that is 90 meters. How about the area? So, this is the area. The area of the rectangular lot is 450 square meters. Let us identify now the length and then the width. So, let us solve. So, let us first identify the formula for the area and then the perimeter. The formula for the perimeter, that is 2 length plus 2 width. So, the perimeter is 90, so that is 2L plus 2W. So, para mas madali tayong mag-solve, so let us divide it by 2, so that becomes 45, it is equal to length plus width. How about the area? The area, that is equal to length times width. So, the area, so that is equal to 450 equals L times W. So, paano natin ito isosolve? So, by means of substitution. System of linear equation by substitution method. So, ano yung substitute natin? So, first, 45. So, that becomes negative W equals L. So, first, we need to substitute the value of L to this given equation. This is our equation 1. And the area, that is the equation 2. We need to substitute uh, the value of L by equation 2. 
So the equation 2, that is 450 equals length times width. So the length, that is 45 minus W. So copy 450, 45 minus W times W. So it means copy 450, that is 45W minus W squared. So proceed natin tong dalawang to going to the left side. So change the sign. So W squared minus 45W plus 450 equal 0. So right, right now, let us solve for the W. So the sum and then the product. So the sum is equal to negative 45. That could be the value of B. And then the product, 1 times 450, that is 450. So Think a factor that the product is 450 and then the sum is negative 45. So first, so W squared, that is the value of A, is 1. So 1 W and then 1 W. And then this is positive. So it means the sign both negative because the value of B, it is negative. So think a factor that the product is 450 and then the sum is negative 45. So the answer is negative 30 and negative 15. So let us check. Negative 30 times negative 15 is 450. If we add, that is equal to negative 45. So let us continue. W minus 30 equals 0. So it means W equals 30. How about the second one? W minus 15 equals 0. So W equals 15. So both of them is the answer. So let us continue to solve for the length. If the width that is equal to 30, so it means let us replace it with the given equation. So that becomes length that is equal to 45 minus 30. So it means the length that is equal to 15 meters. So if the width is 30 meters, the length is 15 meters. How about if we how about if the width it is equal to 15? If the width is equal to 15 meters, so it means the length it is equal to 45 minus 15. And 45 minus 15, that is equal to 30. So the length it is equal to 30 meters. If we try to check if our answer is correct for the length and then the width for the equation 2. So 30 times 15, so 30. 30, that could be the width, and then the length, that is 15 meters. The answer is 450. If we try, the width is 15 meters, and then the length is 30. So 30 times 15, also, the answer is 450. How about example number 4? Jack and Jill working together can do a work in 6 days. So, kung magtrabaho daw sila, matatapos nila in 6 days. If Jack can takes 5 days less than Hill to finish the work, in how many ways can Hill alone do it? So, let X, that is the time of Hill, take to finish the work. So, kung si Hill lang, that is X. How about time of Jack to finish the work? So, that is X minus 5. How to get X minus 5? Based on the problem, 5 days less than heel. So it means heel is x. Time of heel take to finish the work is x. So 5 days less than. So x minus 5. So what could be the solution now? So the solution that becomes this is a work problem. So that is 1 over x plus 1 over x minus 5. It is equal to 1 over 6. So kung silang dalawa working together, that is 6 days. So 1 over 6. So afterwards, let us multiply both sides by x, by x minus 5 and 6. Paano natin nakuha? Dito yun. Okay. So if we divide it with x, that becomes x minus 5 times 6. If we divide this one by x minus 5, ang natira, x times 6. If we multiply by 1, walang bearing, walang pagbabago. And then if we divide it with 6, that is x times x minus 5 times 1. Afterwards, let us multiply. So 6x minus 30, and then this one plus 6x equals x squared minus 5x. So let us combine like terms. So that becomes negative x squared, and then positive 5x, bring down 6x, bring down 6x, bring down negative 30 equals 0. Afterwards, let us multiply all by negative 1, and then let us solve kung merong kailang i-combine. Negative times negative is positive x squared. 
5 plus 6 plus 6, that is 17x. 17 times negative is negative 17x. Negative times negative is positive 30 equals 0. So the sum, that could be the value of b, that is negative 17. And then the product, a times c, that is equal to 30. So think a factor that the product is 30 and then the sum is negative 17. So first, x times x because we have the value of a, that is 1. So 1x and then 1x. So the product is 30 and then the sum is negative 17. So the factor that is negative 15 and negative 2. So let us check. Negative 15 times negative 2 is 30. Negative 15 plus negative 2, that is negative 17. So correct. Our factor that is x minus 15 and then x minus 2 equals 0. So let us solve now for the value of x. x minus 15 equals 0. So x, negative 15, that becomes positive 15. Second one, x minus 2, it is equal to 0. So it means x, it is equal to positive 2. So right now, if 2, and then replace it with x minus 5. So if 2, 2 days time of field, take to finish the work, and then 2 minus 5, that is negative 3. So, kaya na Disregard because the number of days is negative. So, hindi naman pwedeng magtrabaho si Jack ng negative 3 to finish the work. So, how about if x, that is equal to 15? So, it means 15 days time of field to take finish the work. How about Jack? So, that becomes 15 minus 5, that is equal to 10. So, it means he can work in 15 days while Jack can work it in 10 days. Sakto. Instruction. Answer the following problems. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning! Mathematics, I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!